Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. And there are so many holiday palettes that are out there right now. And I wanted to go through them with you. And when I'm thinking about it, it's like, okay, I bought this palette. Here are the swatches. I really like it. I really don't like it. And then that's the last time we usually seem to discuss it. And there are so many holiday palettes out there that, um, I know for a lot of you guys, you're just going to buy them all anyway, and that's that's great, that's fine, that's wonderful. But for people who cannot purchase all of them, I wanted to give you guys a really in-depth review slash tutorial, my thoughts on what I think these palettes, if they're worth purchasing or not. And um, so we're going to spend a couple days in these palettes, and I'm going to show you guys swatches, go through the colors, um, we're going to do looks, and um, I'm going to keep the looks really simple so that, um, you know, the shadows can basically speak for themselves and you guys can make a decision on what you think, um, you know, which ones you guys want to go with. So the palette that I am so excited about is the Kat Von D Studded Palette. I oh, so excited about this one. Okay, so basically what I would say, I absolutely, I mean, I love the packaging, the colors are amazing, I would swatch them for you, and then that would be it. So I figured we would spend a little bit more time on it than just that. So um, the palette looks like this. And it's got the um, the paper on top of it, just like it did last year. I did not pick up the one last year, so this is my first holiday palette from her. Okay, and as you can see, there's um, each four shadows are put into like a little white box, and they're kind of like these are the four that go together. Now, usually I don't stay in the lines like that, but for this series. Um, we're going to. <laughs> so um, what I'm going to focus on is because the color that I basically purchased this entire palette for is this one right here. So this is the quad that we are going to go through today. Okay. And I will show you up close and hopefully don't get too much of a glare there. Um, these are the four shades and I don't remember what they're called. Sorry. Okay, this one is Solar, Nephilim, uh, Platonic, and Mandela. Okay, and I did swatch them here on my hand. So we've got Solar here. Uh, let's see, uh, this is Nephilim, Platonic, and Mandela. Okay, so those are the swatches there. Now, like I said, when I first picked this up, I basically picked it up for this color right here, okay? Um, not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. Um, you definitely have to build the color up on that one. However, when I got it home and I swatched it, um, I was looking at my Fergie Wet n Wild uh, palette here, and this orange color right here, extremely close extremely close so yeah now thinking that this is going to be my ultimate favorite shade I then was introduced to platonic platonic and I hope that you can see this I don't know if it is coming off or not platonic is made out of magic and fairy dust okay the color is unbelievable it like changes colors it's like gold and yellow and it's got some green to it and I don't know if you guys are seeing that at all but it is out of this quad that one is like my favorite out of these four I mean I still love this one but this was just a shocking surprise in this little these these four that I'm using today in this series, I'm also going to use, because I have her holiday lipstick, studded lipsticks, I'm going to use those on each 
of the looks and yeah so um, let me know what you think of this and um, let's go ahead and okay, get started. So to start I'm gonna take my blending brush and I'm gonna go in with solar and this is going to be all over color and or like the base for blending and my brow bone color okay then we're going in with Nephilium, Nephilium, however you say that. And this is going like above my crease. This is my transition color. Okay, then I'm going in with Platonic. And I am patting that on my lid. and my inner corner a little bit. Then I am going in with Mandela and putting that in the outer V. And I'm gonna kind of get some color on there and then we'll blend it all out. take my blending brush and blend that out. Found that kind of had to do this a couple times to get to the like pigmentation that I wanted it to be at. Okay, then I'm gonna go back in with the Mandela color and I'm going to put that under my lash line here and then blending that out again. Okay, and then I'm taking the Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner, and I'm just going to quickly line my eye here. Okay, and then the mascara that I'm trying to use up is the uh, Maybelline Turbo Volume Express. You guys will have to excuse my lashes, I barely have any right now. Okay, and then for my lips, I wanted to go ahead and use um, her lipstick too, so I am using um, Countess. And on top of that, I did uh, top it with the Glamour Dolls, uh, the Naked Banana. So, that is the look. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching! Okay, sorry. <laughs> Alright guys, see you next time. Bye!